IGN's Daily Fix is brought to you by Sony Entertainment Network. Developers Ready at Dawn have been hard at work on the secretive PS4 game, The Order 1886. And while details about the game are scarce, the developers have given us a little treat in the form of 17 screenshots and art pieces. Doesn't that port town look amazing? And what's with the weapon on that guy's back? Is he packing a tire? And something tells me hairstyling wasn't very big in 1886. Check out the screens for yourself by following this little link. You ever have that problem when you're playing the Xbox One with your friends and someone gets an achievement pop, but none of you know who it's for? Oh, wait, nobody has an Xbox One yet. Well, when you do, a video that showed up online confirms that each player will be able to customize the color of their achievement pop-ups for their account. So you'll never have to wonder which of you got that achievement for team killing your friend. Battlefield developer DICE has confirmed via Twitter that there are over 15 games using the Frostbite engine in development. We already know that besides Battlefield 4, there are several confirmed games using the Frostbite engine, like Need for Speed Rivals, Dragon Age Inquisition, Mirror's Edge 2, Star Wars Battlefront, and even the next Mass Effect game. But what about the rest? With at least seven titles unannounced, are they more sequels or something new entirely? Who wants to take a guess? You know it's even better than finding out when something cool has been announced? Well, finding out when that something cool gets a release date. The once PlayStation Vita only game Assassin's Creed Liberation is getting a shiny coat of HD and will be available for digital download for the PS3 on January 14th, 2014, a day after my birthday in North America. Expect the PC and Xbox 360 versions to follow behind shortly. A new Wii U Deluxe bundle has dropped Nintendo Land in favor of the Mario Brothers. You can get the bundle with both New Super Mario and Luigi U on one disc with the 32GB Black Wii U on November 1st for only $300. And just for the tease, Nintendo has unveiled two New Japan only 3DS colored models, black and orange and black and turquoise. If you aren't living in Japan, you cannot grab them on November 7th for around 20,000 yen each. You haven't forgotten about our week-long Sony giveaway, have you? Keep your eyes peeled for our daily question appearing in the ticker below. Then all you have to do is head over to the Fix's comment section on IGN with your answer to win a $10 voucher for the Sony PlayStation Store, brought to you by Sony Entertainment Network. Six people can win both today and Thursday, and we've still got an even bigger prize on Friday. Now before we go, we still have time for our Deals of the Week. The new and improved Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut is 20 bucks on Steam, but what if you already own the game? Well, then you can get the game half off. And if you already have the Missing Link DLC, guess what? The Director's Cut drops at only $5. And if you want to give indie games a try, check out Steam's Midweek Madness Sale on Gone Home for half off. You can also grab Resident Evil 6 on Amazon for only $8 and Sly Cooper Thieves in Time for just $15. As always, if you know any great gaming deals, let us know in the comments and share your knowledge with your fellow gamers. And that's your fix for October 23rd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN.